Hey guys, uh, Michael DiDiego with Industrial Safety Supply Corporation. Today we're going to cover how to connect your uh, EchoView host with a QRay 3. First we're going to start with the EchoView host. Uh, you'll notice that there is nothing connected in the screen here. So we're going to go ahead and press the N and Mode button together to get us into an opportunity to add a password. Um, the password for this particular device is 0 zero zero and another zero I then hit the piece again it says enter I'll go ahead and enter the menu and we're gonna go down to the wireless button I'm gonna go ahead and use the soft key arrow and hit the select button and we are gonna go down to pan ID setup pan ID setup so this is where we would add our PAN ID, and this is what is one of the items that allows our Echo View and the, uh, in this case, the Toxie Ray 3 to connect. So we're going to go ahead and leave this at 777. So I'm just going to mode over, and one more time, and I'm going to hit the Save button. And I'm going to go down to the channel, and hit the Select button for Channel. And notice that we're set up to channel 10. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that at channel 10 and make a little note that we're at pan ID 777 and channel 10 and hit the save button. And then I'm going to go up and select form net. Now, because if I change the pan ID and the channel number, um, it would not recognize that net. So I just want to make sure that I go reset whatever it is that I did. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and since I formed the net, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here and exit out of here so that I get back into the regular mode that it sees in. So we're going to go ahead and grab our QRay 3 and uh, take a quick look to see what the uh, pan ID and channel are set to. And you do that simply by using the soft arrow key to mode uh, through the menu piece here. Yeah. And after you get to your unit ID and pan ID um, in your channel here, uh, you can see that we are not set up to what it is that we were set up on the uh, Echo View host, which was pan ID 777 and channel 10. So these two devices would certainly not communicate with each other. So we're going to go ahead and continue forward and get back into our regular mode. And what we're going to do is hit the Y and the mode button simultaneously. It's going to ask us for a password and the password is going to be the same as the previous one which is four zeros. So by using the soft keys I'm going to enter the server and select the OK key. We're then going to mode using the soft key arrow again to the wireless function in our menu and hit the select button. Uh, very important that you uh, check and make sure that your radio for your uh, mesh wireless piece is turned on. Uh, this one is. So we're going to go ahead and exit. Uh, we're going to go down to pan ID, hit select, and we're going to change this from 677 to 777. And go ahead and save that. It's going to apply some settings. Tells me that it's good. Obviously, we need to check our channel as well uh, to make sure that we're set on channel 10. And we are set to channel 9. So I'm going to go ahead and change that and select that so it applies settings. And always important, uh, you need to make sure that you go join the network uh, to make sure that it actually took what it is that you did. So let's go ahead and select join network. It's saying join network with a pan ID of 777 and a channel of 10. I'm going to go ahead and select the yes button. And of course it says successfully joining network. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here. And what you'll notice is on my Echo View, it hasn't picked it up yet. Uh, the reason why, and a lot of people ask, is until I initiate the network on this piece by getting all the way out. And then, of course, I need to get out of the menu. It's going to apply settings. And the interval that was set on this particular device was 30 seconds. So within 30 seconds, I will have an instrument show up on my Echo View. I don't know if you've noticed, but the, the bar in here now has uh, the radio signals listed in it. 
And you notice that the uh, serial number of said instrument, uh, which ends in 696B, if you look on the back side of this piece here, you can see that it ends in 696B. Not sure if you can see that small in here, but uh, that is the frequency number, a uh, serial number of that frequency for uh, the QA3. Uh, just a quick little show on how quickly it uh, monitors that. I'm going to go ahead and block this pump. And you notice right away this instrument lights up. And I'm going to go ahead and press the enter button. And you can see it says alarm pump on it. I'm going to go ahead and clear that and notice that the alarm goes away. Okay, that's how you connect your Echo View host and a uh, wireless instrument. Uh, thank you for joining us today and uh, hope to see you soon.